Hey guys, it's Noah Wilson from iHollywood TV, and welcome to our very first episode here of our TV show airing exclusively on Glue TV. You may know my first guest as a television personality, nanny and author. She's been helping families for many years now. She joins me this morning on the virtual to talk all about her career. Please welcome Super Nanny herself, Joe Frost. Hi, Joe. Hi, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. You know, we're still on the virtual, but hey, you know what? It works for me, so. <laughs> Baby steps moving forward, Noah. Yeah. It's a good thing. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you know what? Joe is my first guest. I didn't want anyone else but Joe to be the first guest on my show uh, because I, I've grown up watching you. Uh, by the way, my boyfriend and I, we still watch you. We just go to YouTube and we type in Super Nanny <laughs> and we watch the full episodes. So, you know. Good we, Noah. It's yeah. good Noah. You know, I remember, you know, meeting you years back, you know, and you saying to me you were watching the show as a kid, so it's good that you're watching it with your partner, you know, you're learning from all the different shows. I love that. So before you got the show Super Nanny, you were a professional nanny for many years, but you were also headhunted to work with families troubleshooting their parental issues. How did people know where to find you? Like, were you like the secret weapon for parents? Like, you had to be in the know to get to you? <laughs> In the know, in the club. And most of that good work is word of mouth. You know, so um, a friend knows someone and then you, you know, help them with their issues and then that gets spread amongst the circle, you know, and, and then that sort of just spreads really and, and then you're out there and then people know. Uh, my, my father always used to call the house line back then, mm -hmm. the nanny hotline. It's like, nanny hotline's calling, it's like the Batmobile. <laughs> hey, it's the nanny line, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, really, you know, it's, it's circles upon circles of friends and that, that good work gets around and, uh, you know, the good word gets around and then the good work can happen. And, you know, for me, it's always a privilege to be able to help families. Um, and, you know, what better compliment than it being word of mouth because people are, you know, recommending your work and what you do. You right. Know? Yeah. And two, I just want to point out to our audience, you know, you started in your early teens being a nanny before, you know, you got your own show, Super Nanny. So how was that like? Like yeah. what got you interested in wanting to do this for a living? Uh, well, it wasn't a, a chosen career. You know, I, I didn't consciously say, right, what am I going to do for a career? What am I, what am I going to do for a living? I think it's like with most people, you know, you, you follow what you're passionate about, mm. you know, what you love doing. I always loved being around children. Um, I started off babysitting like, you know, many out there. Um, yeah. And I saw advertisements for professional nanny positions. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, and the rest is history, really. But it gave me a very wide net of being able to help many different families before then doing consultation you know, which was then the troubleshooting, which really led to the format that we saw with Super Nanny, you know, yeah. being able to go in and help families. But for me, it was just, you know, really having a passion, you know, being, you know, love, love being around children. You love interacting with them. And um, certainly a, a professional nanny is dedicated to her charges, you know, yeah. and the relationship that she has with the family and the kids and you know, providing a, a service that's gold seal standard, really. And I think that's important. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Now let's kind of talk uh, about the Super Nanny Show. It originally aired in the UK with over 5.2 million people tuning in, which was incredible for yeah. the Channel 4 network. And then, of course, ABC aired it in the U.S., running 23 episodes a year, by the way, which I loved it. I loved every moment of it. I was like, okay, keep it coming, ABC. <laughs> you know, that was a demanding schedule. And might I add, in today's viewing, that's like 14 seasons, not including the two seasons you did recently, making it really 16 seasons. That's amazing. And a lot of families that you got to visit over the years. What made ABC, you know, say, hey, let's bring, you know, Super Nanny to our U.S. audiences because, you know, your style of techniques – it really, it, it just works, and it's just amazing. I love the naughty corner. Stick that kid over there in the naughty corner, JoJo. <laughs> um, that's a whole mouthful there. Um, <laughs> when you break it down like that, it is. I mean, you know, 23 episodes in a season is unheard of. You know, back then, that's what the norm was. And, uh, you know, obviously very grateful to have the opportunity to come to America and yeah. really help 
um, families there as well. I was back and forth for many years, helping families in the UK and then also helping families in the US as well. Um, and yeah, it was a demanding schedule where I spent, <laughs> I want to say 48 weeks of the year living out of a suitcase. Wow. You know, I would literally go home for Christmas and uh, a little bit of time over the summer, mm. you know, where I could connect with, you know, friends and family in base, you know, yeah. um, and have some good times. But it was, you know, obviously an amazing uh, journey to have this opportunity. Experience with opportunity allowed me to head forth and really go for it. And and no, I think the bigger the bigger picture of what this was, which was to have the opportunity, you know, to help another country under this medium, you know, the power of television, and to be able to use my skill set so instrumental in in being able to make this transformational change for many families. Um, is really what we know now um, as, you know, we look at social media and we see the millions of views, you know, all my different shows have had because they became an archive, you know, of shows. And I, and I would say really for ABC, um, it was new, you know, it was, it was new. Um, it was the first time anywhere in the country that we'd seen somebody be able to actually help a family the process of helping a family yeah. on camera so the, the format was different um obviously i could deliver you know the results and to oh, be yeah. able to help a family under that capacity but i i really would say you know fundamentally the intention was in alignment you know abc understood like any network who um you know commissions me to uh, produce any show that's helping family, it's the alignment, the intention that they want to be able to give their audiences an entertaining, educational, compelling program. And I think really ABC understood that what they could bring to their family viewers at yeah. ABC um, was a very valuable show. And well, so it lasted, you know, it lasted a long time. Oh, I'm yeah. Grateful. By the way, I have my DVD somewhere. I have the season one DVD that I got from Amazon because <laughs> oh, that's how much. Yes, I don't know where it's at. We should have it here on the set. Oh my gosh, someone go run and grab it. But... He was a big fan. He was a big fan. You had the DVDs and the books and rerunning the shows. Hey, I'll, I'll take that laugh, Noah. I'll take that laugh. I am going for several days. The stay in bed technique is required. If you have a moment where you can have that little time with Kayla, that would be fantastic. So speaking of Super Nanny, my boyfriend and I, we have been watching a lot of the episodes on YouTube, as I mentioned. But, you know, during the episodes, when you leave a family and you check back in with them a couple of days after to see their progress, we're always curious, or at least we were curious, which I'm sure a lot of people probably are curious to know, or they at least want to know the answer to, do you go work with another family during that short period of time? Or what do you do during that time? Like, do you ever just kind of get a day to relax and just to enjoy yourself as you know you're letting them kind of take in the techniques that you've taught them and seeing if they're going to stay into place before you come back in you know check in with that family i actually got asked this question not too long ago i'm, I'm busy working i'm busy really? working I'm, I'm prepping and preparing um the crew for the next family what we'll do with the, them based on just right now what i'm being told um, but of course, you know, I'm able to read between the lines with some of that stuff and to look ahead. So I do as much prep work as I possibly can uh, for several families down the line that I will be helping where we're going next. Um, and, uh, you know, it's certainly, you know, the, the time is really tight, you know, because that takes a lot of prep work. But every now and then, just every now and then, you get a window where you can take an opportunity. And um, I had that not too long ago when I was doing season eight for Lifetime. Mm -hmm. um, I had the opportunity in Chicago. Just, I couldn't believe it. I heard that Hamilton was in town um, and I was like, oh, I haven't seen it yet. And everybody I think has seen it apart from myself. <laughs> and I had this opportunity and they had tickets when I rang. So I put myself to the theater by myself. I, I went down there in the evening and I sat there and I enjoyed Hamilton. I love the theatre. I absolutely love the theatre. So having the opportunity to go was such 
um, it was such a thrill for me. I was just so excited. As you can hear me talking about it, you know, the, the times are, you know, those times are rare, but when you do get those moments, you want to do something special with him, you know. Back in the day, um, you know, when I first started, you know, doing Super Nanny, um, you know, I might do a day where I go sightseeing, you know, in the particular place where I was. But I've now done, um, God, have I done 49 states now? No, I've now done 48 states. So Maine, Maine and Montana are the only two places I haven't been in America. Wow. So, you know, over these years, I've had the opportunity, you know, to go everywhere and, and to work, you know, to work everywhere in this country. All but, all but those two. Eventually, I'll get to them, you know, because I have yeah. heard that they're both very beautiful. So many young teens, Joe, they uh, were young when Super Nanny first aired, reaching out to you by sharing their videos on TikTok. I actually saw this. This was actually, I think, by uh, the Today Show. They wrote an article, the Daily Mail. This got picked up by a lot of press. And I don't, I don't do the tick and talk and time bomb, the TikTok. Now, I don't tick or talk. I did two TikToks, Joe, and it was uh, rain on me with Ariana Grande and Lady Gaga. Then I did some wipe challenge or, you know, on, on the window. But it took me so long to do it, Joe. I'm like, I can't do this again. But it was so sweet to see, like, these young kids <laughs> that, you know, are on TikTok. And, you know, you help them. You know, you turn them to be a better kid. And they're thanking you. So, like, how does that make you feel to know they appreciate your help and they still adore you to this day as many of, uh, you know, kids really like you? Uh, I just thought it was really sweet, Noah. I just thought it was really sweet. Like, for me, as soon as I saw, you know, as soon as I – it was Haley that – that did the first TikTok. Mm -hmm. And I remember uh, as a little girl, you know, because it's that, you know, that very famous sort of clip um, of me explaining to her parents, you know, the, the rap that this little girl was listening to and the explicit words that were being used, you know, alongside using those words with a British accent, I think, you know, kind of hit the punch home of like, What's going on here? And for me, it's always when you see the kids grow up, so you're like, oh, look, look at them now, you know? I remember, I just want to do this. Like, I remember them, when, you know, when they were tiny, and now, you know, they're young teens or they're young adults, and some of them have got kids themselves now, you know? So, um, it, 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 obviously, it is a compliment. It's lovely, um, and it, it's, it's nice, yeah. It has been really nice. Uh, for you know for the kids to send those beautiful messages. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it So Joe you've had a variety of different shows that have aired internationally from Holland Australia the UK and of yeah. course here in the US the latest thing that I think uh, us here in America have seen you do was Super Nanny it was picked up for the eighth season which aired on Lifetime after you know it took a, a long pause from ABC a lot of fans are probably wondering will we see Super Nanny renewed on Lifetime. What is next for you, like as far as the Super Nanny show? It's true. It's true. I, um, I did hear. I did hear last year that they're not going to renew Lifetime and not going to renew the the Super Nanny um, show. However, you know the Super Nanny show, Joe Frost Nanny on tour, Extreme Parental Guidance, you know Family SOS, whatever show you see me do is there to provide, you know, a service to families and being able to help them in one creative format or another, you know? So whether, um, you know, whether or not you're attached to the title, right? Or the creative format, um, the truth of the matter is, you know, I'm there helping families, you know? So there'll always be um, an opportunity to creatively have a format that does exactly that, you know, help families. It's just where that home will be. And truthfully, a network um, understanding um, the depth of that, you know, understanding the intention of what the show is there to do. And for us all collaboratively to be creative, you know, about that format, because, you know, that's important to me, the integrity of the actual work and having a lot of fun with it, you know? Like all the formats that I've done, I've really enjoyed, you know, and I've produced some of them and obviously executive produced those. Um, mm. And I think they've all been very different in a very different way um, of putting across what families have needed. I love um, I love my latest format, which was Joe Frost Nanny on tour, um, because it allowed me to help not just one family, 
but to help an entire community. And that, for me, was just amazing. It just took it to another level. So mm -hmm. it would be great if that show um, was aired here. I'd love people to see that because, you know, I have gone to help families in their homes. And when I've come out, there's been, like, letters or notes, you know, given. Like, can you give this to Joe? Can you come to my house next? Or mm -hmm. can you help us at a local school? Or can you come and, you know, talk to us in a church hall? So again, you know, the feeling of doing Nanny on tour was to, to help a community as well. You know, at the same time that you're in a town, helping one family. Um, yeah, I'm hoping I'll be able to continue because let's face it, Noah, there's a real need. I mean, there was always a need. Mm -hmm. But as we've, you know, as we are coming out now um, into a better space, right? Mm -hmm. um, with vaccinations and the world opening up, there are families that really do need help. Out of all the work that you have done, especially from last year and just everything from all, you know, the different variety of shows and, you know, helping families, what does Joe do on a weekend? Like, do you get time <laughs> off? Like, what is, I mean, what does Joe do? I want to know, Joe. <laughs> yeah, what do I do? What do I love to do? When you have free uh, time. <laughs> yeah, so when I do have free time, I'm in California. Like, it's got amazing, amazing beaches here. I love the water. It's a place that feels very relaxing for me. Um, so I like to take walks on the beaches. I like to go for bike rides. Um, I like to um, I like to buy myself flowers. Um, it's real self love, right? It's self care. I like to hang out with friends when I get an opportunity. If they're coming in from different states, um, I like to spend time, obviously, talking to my friends that are back in England or connect with my family. Um, you know, it's the things that make me happy, right? It's the things that I would say certainly keep me healthy mentally and emotionally that like wellness you know so get sleep if i need if i'm tired i listen to my body if i'm tired and i need to sleep then you know i'm gonna sleep Good. i like to garden um you know sometimes you might get like now the world's opening up there may be an exhibition or there may be now we're gonna see probably comedy shows and a concert or something so you know, I definitely would like to do, you know, that. And, you know, Darren and I, you know, spend time, you know, f feeding our marriage as well, you know, because, you know, we've all had our ups and downs, you know, certainly through this time as well. As we were talking about COVID, you know. Um, and I, again, you know, I think every, every family goes through that phase where it's been difficult for yourselves as well. And, you know... I, for me, it's important about being real about that and saying, right, there's a window here. Let's go and do this together. So it's a amalgamation of a lot of things. But, you know, I get to hang out. If I see my grandson, I get to hang out with my grandson as well. Mm. You know, so, uh, you know, family members that are here as well. So uh, lots of lots of different things. But things that I like to do, things that I enjoy or, you know, we, I say we both enjoy to do. Sometimes I'll do things separately and Darren will. Like Darren mm. loves to play golf and he'll go off and do golf and I'll do my thing. Um, you know, and I like to read. Um, you know, or we do things together as well, mm. you know, and hang out with friends. So oh. normalcy, normalcy. Yeah. <laughs> well, one day I hope I get to hang out with you, Joe, and, you know, do lunch or, you know, just get to meet you in person, yeah. you know. Most people, fun. we would, we would have fun. I think most people, I remember... I remember when I've been around, you know, filming and stuff like that. And I'm, you know, if I'd have had, like I said to you, if I ever had the opportunity, you know, to go for a meal or the crew may have been going one evening, you know, to a bar or something, you know, I'll say, oh, I'll come for an hour, but then I can't stay. And it always makes me laugh because people will come up to me and say, what are you doing in here? Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm having a rum and coke, like you're having, is that a vodka there? Or, you know, oh my God, is that Joe dancing? Is that Joe having, you know, a rum and coke? Is that Joe in the laundromat? Is that Joe in the gym there? Is that Joe, you know, like, it always, it always does make me laugh because I'm doing what other people are doing, you know? Yeah, yeah, because I, I guess they probably think, you know, they see you on TV and they see, you know, as like helping families and kids and then they're like, what is Joe doing up at a bar? You're like, <laughs> Does she have a life beyond helping families? My word, you know? Um, yeah. But it's, you know, it's, again, it, it, it really it makes me laugh. I remember the first time that happened, I was in a laundromat, you know? And this lady said to me, what are you doing in here? I said, well, washing my clothes, just like you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, 
oh, right, okay. Um, but yeah, you know, like anybody else, you know, hang out and, you know, be with friends and go and, you know, have a little pamper for myself, you know, so... Now, kind of everything that we've talked about, Joe, and, you know, if, if people do want to get a private consultation with you, you know, where yeah. can people find you to get help if there's families watching our interview today on television and they say, you know what, I need Joe's help or I would like a, you know, a consultation. Where, where can they go for that information? Yeah, I, I would say don't be shy. Like, this is the year of, you know, this is the year of transition. This is the year of change. This is the year of being able to say to yourself, right, you know, what are we really not happy with? What do we need? You know, what, what do we want moving forward? What do we want? What do we need? You know, in order to make that happen. So if you are a family that has a parental issue, you know, with the kids or you feel as a family, you could do with that help and that guidance, go to joefrost.com. That's where you'll find me. There'll be a section that will say contact Joe, and then you can apply with under the private consultation. Um, and, you know, as a team, we you know, take that application and then move forward for that. It could be that you only need, you know, a day or two. It could be work, you know, I work with families. Uh, my consultation company I've had for over 15 years now. So, mm -hmm. you know, some families, they just need a day. Some families need two days. Other families, I work for three months. And then it's like, thank you. And they're great. And on they go, you know. So um, it all depends. It all depends. It, that's, it's a bespoke service. So, you know, it's not generic. Well, Joe's going to keep on keeping on. Joe Frost, thank you for yeah. being my first guest. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. You. I feel privileged. Thank yes. So much. Oh, my gosh. Well, next time we will have to do this in person. Maybe we can do a fun on location segment somewhere. I love those. I love doing that type of stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm going to bring you over here. Is there, okay. there less humidity, right? Georgia must be so humid right now. It's so <laughs> hot. I was like, it's <laughs> burning hot. Yeah, I, I, yeah, especially, you know, outside of all, you know, the interviews and stuff like that, I'll put on, you know, a shirt and have some shorts on. I'll be going, at, it, burning, absolute hot. Mm -hmm. The yeah, humidity of it all. True. Mm -hmm. true. But, but we can I, be out. The nice thing is everybody can be outdoors right now, right? So, you know, we can still be safe and, you know, we're outdoors. So that's really good. Yeah. But, yeah, we'll do it on a... Um, let, we'll go somewhere where we can have like lunch and then we can overlook the glistening sea and smell the ocean. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Joe Frost, thank you so much. Everyone, you can continue to watch Super Nanny on YouTube like me because I will watch it on YouTube now. And uh, be sure to follow Joe Frost at Joe Frost uh, on Twitter. I think it's at Joe underscore Frost. So, you know, I'm plugging out all your socials right there. Joe Frost, Joe Frost on the IG and then JoeFrost.com. It's my yeah. name. Yeah. Joe Frost. Ah, thank you, Joe. You're just so much fun. I adore you and love you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Bye.